Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been enjoying the last little bit of content. Kind of went on a little bit of a hiatus there, went on vacation. But uh, back to making some videos. Today is gonna be the third video of the YZ250 build. By far this is gonna be the most exciting one so far. We got new graphics, new plastics, and we might do tires in this video. We might not, I haven't decided yet. But uh, the graphics look great. HPD Moto Graphics hooked us up really nice with those, and uh, Central Florida Power Sports uh, hooked us up with these plastics. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is obviously take the plastics off of this, the old plastics off the bike, and then we're going to put the new plastics and the graphics on, and I'll kind of take you guys through how I do graphics. Obviously there's a lot of ways, but um, I'll show you guys the way I do it. And uh, if you have not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you notice when more content is posted. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more content. We're going to go ahead and start by taking off all the plastics. Um, we're going to have to get a screwdriver, it looks like an 8 and a 10 T-handle, so let's do that now. We'll go ahead and just hit you guys with the time lapse of this, it's kind of boring, and then we'll get to uh, how to put the graphics on. Alright, so as you guys can see, we went ahead and took out all of the old plastics. Bike looks pretty naked, but uh, we're going to go ahead and put the new plastics on here in a minute. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and start putting the graphics on the plastics. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the front number plate. And I'll kind of explain how uh, I do it, and then I'll go ahead and time lapse through the rest of it since it's fairly repetitive. But uh, here's a look at the graphics. So I've got some sponsors on here, such Florida Power Sports, Fast Company, Flex Bars, and HBD Moto Graphics. So we're going to first start with the front number plate like I said. And the first step is heating up the plastic part with this, just enough to get the chill off so the plastics, or for the graphics to stick better. You just want to feel it, just want it to be just a little bit warm. Go ahead and take your graphics. Alright, check for dirt. You don't want any dirt on this. You're going to go ahead and start from wherever you feel comfortable. and get the initial lay down. As you can see, I'm way, way off to the left, so we gotta adjust that. So, so you can see, looks pretty good. There's quite a few bubbles in this because this is the old number plate. The new kit didn't come with a number plate for some reason, so I had to use the old one and it had scratches and stuff in it, so there's bubbles on that all right but anyway so there's that the next step I'll right, show you guys up close see there's a couple bubbles up here I'm gonna have to work on getting those out Alright, so the last step in putting on 
the graphics piece is going to be the heat gun. What this heat gun is going to do is it's going to adhere the um, glue from the graphics onto the plastics. It's just going to go around the edges. going to keep it from peeling up and the graphics will last a lot longer. Step is to put these on. These are the graphics that go on the tank. So it's going to take us a minute. We got to pick out each one of these holes, and we're going to go ahead and slap them on the tank. All right. So we went ahead and put on the tank and side plate graphics right there. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But I wanted to go over again why we do the graphics the way we do. Um, this is kind of the way we've always done it with the heat gun and the squeegee a lot of people use the like spray soap and that that works okay but it's just super hard to handle it's super messy and the heat gun really does a good job if you take your time and go slow and i thought that was just something you know i'd include in case you guys were interested in better ways to do graphics um that's the way we do it but uh, all right i'm gonna go ahead and start by putting on the um shrouds i'm gonna go ahead and time lapse through some of this it's kind of boring but uh, I'll kind of move the camera around and that way you guys can see each part of the bike going together. So. All right, good morning everyone. Um, last night we kind of took a break, camera died, and I just went to bed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and continue our build here, putting on the rest of the graphics. And uh, I'll kind of keep it a secret till the end, and that way I can do a kind of a big reveal on what the bike looks like outside in the sun. And uh, I think it's going to look great, but uh, let's continue. We're going to put the side plates on next. All right, guys, so the bike is complete. I'm about to show you guys uh, the finished product here in a second. But first things first, we kind of did a recap of, of everything I did on the bike. So we did graphics, plastics. Um, we're going to do new tires. I'm not gonna film that in a bike build video. There's just not enough uh, content for another bike build video. But the next time I ride it, I'll include the footage of the tires. That way you guys can kind of see how that is done as well. Anyway, plastics, graphics, tires. We did bearings and a lot of different things. <laughs> we did, we basically just cleaned the heck out of it. We put flex bars on it. What else did we do? We also put an FMF pipe on it. It was already on that before I started the videos, but that's not stock. 
I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Stay tuned because we're about to show you the finished product. Well, there it is, guys. The uh, the YZ250 I will be racing in the FTR series for Pre-Modern A. Uh, before I close out this video, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to show you a couple things that added extra. So you see this right here? This is Jacob Barrard with the American flag. That is, that didn't come on the graphics. It came on my last graphics kit for the KTM. Um, but I decided that I think it would look great on this bike as well. And then, uh, oh yeah, right here, this right here also came in that other graphics kit but I thought it kind of it looked good there on the on the fender but uh, overall this bike looks super awesome there's a couple more things that I got to do to it but uh, the main stuff is done and this is going to conclude our last bike build video if you guys haven't checked out the other ones I have them linked down below in the description go ahead and hit subscribe hit like hit the notification bell that way you guys get notified when more content is released and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.